We've recreated some of our most iconic pedals, the Governor, Bluesbreaker, Drivemaster and Shredmaster. The circuitry is exactly the same as the originals. The only difference is we've used new pots and jack sockets as the original parts are no longer available. They all have solid metal enclosures in the original shape with the classic old school design and color schemes. For all these demos, we're running the pedal into a JTM45 through a 1960 HW cabinet. Here's our clean tone going straight into the amp. First up, we have the Governor, originally released in 1988. Some people say this was the first ever amp in a box pedal. The Governor was Jim Marshall's nickname around the factory and having his name on the pedal gave it his stamp of approval. The Governor circuit became the basis for many other boutique pedals which have followed over the years. It's a hard clipping diode distortion with controls for gain, bass, middle, treble and level. Unique to this pedal is the effects loop so you can place other pedals such as a delay or EQ in the chain which will also be engaged when the Governor is switched on. This can be useful if you're just using the governor for your lead tones. Tonally, it's very much a classic JCM800 inspired sound, but can also be used for lower gain tones. Next up is the Bluesbreaker, which was officially released in 1992 alongside the Drivemaster and Shredmaster. Again, this set the benchmark for many boutique overdrive pedals and could be considered the original transparent overdrive. This is a soft clipping overdrive and is fairly low gain. We have a simple but effective control setup with gain, tone and volume. It's typically used as an always on boost pedal and is great for fattening up and livening up a clean amp sound. With the gain turned up, it has a nice, smooth, old-school Marshall tone, reminiscent of our more vintage-voiced combo amps.
The Drive Master was also released in the same series of 1992 pedals. Circuit-wise, it's almost identical to the Governor, only this time it has been simplified and doesn't have the effects loop. This is a hard clipping diode distortion with controls for gain, bass, middle, treble and volume. This pedal is great for that classic hard rock tone and has been spotted on pedal boards from players such as Jeff Buckley and Dan Hawkins. The final pedal in the range is the Shredmaster, which again is a hard clipping distortion. This has a smoother tone and is darker sounding than the other pedals. Although the name suggests it's high gain in nature, it's also great for lower gain tones. The controls are slightly different with this one. We have the typical gain, volume, bass and treble, but the mid control has been replaced with a contour. Contour still affects the mid range, but unlike the other pedals, it's not interactive with the bass and treble. It's a notch that starts wide and shallow, which increases in depth and cue as the contour is increased. This is a very powerful control and can take you from a very mid heavy sound all the way to a very scooped aggressive sound. This pedal was very popular in the 90s and has been used by players such as Johnny Greenwood of Radiohead, Kevin Shields of My Bloody Valentine, and even as a bass distortion by Alex James of Blur. <laughs> 